I had some really good Matter Baby over the weekend. What's a matter, baby? Nothing much, Pat. What's the matter with you? Welcome to What's Up Weekly. It's Tuesday, February 25th, and the month of February is almost over, Pat. Hard to believe. March is upon us. But today, today is the national day of Fosnick. And what is Fosnick, you might be asking yourself? Well, it translates to fasting night in English. And traditionally, this is night where you eat some of the best foods and lots of it before the Lenten fast. Very good. Origins in uh, Germany. Some say Pennsylvania Dutch even. So I remember growing up hearing about Fosnick, Fosnick, something the like that. Um, so make sure to celebrate somehow, eat something good yeah. today. Go for it. Some logistics for you. First off is that we're gonna be having a parent dedication on Sunday, March 15th. If you're interested in participating in that, um, please contact me or the church office as soon as possible so we can make plans for you on that day. We also have a special logistic announcement for parents of kids in the twos and threes class. So in order to reduce the class size of the twos and threes, we're gonna be implementing a new policy where all three and a half year olds who are potty trained, when they turn three and a half, they'll be moved up into the pre-K class instead of waiting until they turn four. So if you've been down that hallway on a Sunday morning, you know the twos and threes room is bursting at the seams. Oh, well, I know, Pat. You know, <laughs> better than most. <laughs> yeah. So if your child is currently three and a half, make plans for this Sunday, March 1st, for them to be moved up to the petite praisers class. If your child has not turned three and a half yet, when they do, the following Sunday, they'll be moved up to that class. Please contact me, the church office, Libby Aker, with any questions if that was unclear to you as to how to move forward with that. Gotcha. Cedar Mania is coming up. And again, this event is for the 6th through 12th grade students. Uh, it's happening on March 21st. Yep. You can register on the church website or call the church office. And then lastly, the Iwana Grand Prix is coming up soon. So pay attention, parents, to Commander Bob. We send out information about how to prepare your best for the Iwana Grand Prix. All right, two weeks in a row, Pat. We're going to premiere a new segment. We are. So hope you guys enjoy this first edition of Spotlight. All right, welcome to our first edition of Spotlight. Uh, this segment is primarily going to be introducing a person to Southgate who is going to be either doing a job or a responsibility here that you might not know. So today, in our first edition, we're joined by Libby Aker, who is going to be the new children's coordinator here at Southgate. Yeah. So Libby. Coordinator up. There, that's true. We want to get that right. Coordinator yeah, of good. Children's Ministries. Cool. Tell us a little bit about your family and how long you've been here at Southgate. Cool. Um, I have been at Southgate since I was 15. Scott and I both started coming in high school. Uh, my family, we grew up at First Christian Church, and then we switched here in high school. And I've been here ever since. That was a while ago. <laughs> that's great. We don't need to mention Nope, that's time. okay. No, it's... Um, but anyway, Scott and I both went to Cedarville. We got married. Um, it'll be 12 years this wow. summer. Wow, congratulations. Awesome, you guys. That's great. We have four boys, and yeah. All right. Could you tell us a little bit about your education background? Yeah, so I grew up in a home. My mom and dad were both teachers, hmm. so I grew up in schools all the time, tutoring, just always wanted to be a teacher when I grew up and be a mom. Um, so I went to Cedarville, was an early childhood education major. I taught for two years at Reed here in Springfield. Okay. Then I've been home with Griffin and just been taking master's level classes to Great. restart by my teaching license. So my heart is in educating children. Okay. Great. Yeah. And you have served in children's ministry positions at Southgate before. Yes. So what excites you about coming back to kids ministry? Yeah, I think I was actually speaking with Jonna about this today. Hmm. Um, I just feel a little bit older and a little bit wiser. Just having been removed from everything hmm. for like 20 months, that was all. Sure. <laughs> like, no. so, it, but it seems like forever, but like just having been off staff, it's been good to kind of get a different perspective and I feel more energized and ready to serve. Um, and I told you, I think, at community group that I just want to enable volunteers and leaders to do their best in ministry mm. for our kids mm -hmm. and most importantly just it's fun and amazing to teach our kids about christ yes 
No, that's so. great. Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us today, Libby. We really You're appreciate welcome. it. Yes. Southgate, you'll You're see welcome. her around the church on Sundays. If you do, say hi and thank her for all her work because she really does work hard and do a lot for and us thank here. thank these guys, Absolutely. too. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we're going to head to our game segment, so stick around for that. Three, two, one. On this edition of 8-Bit, we're going to do a Funyun Ring Toss Challenge. Awesome. So, in light of eating all the best foods you can yep. and lots of it, Funyuns, Foss knock. we're going to be given 10 Funyuns each to try and make onto a Ring Toss device. Okay. So, we'll get 5 points for the first peg, 10 points second peg, 15 points third peg. Okay. Whoever gets the most points out of their 10 Funyuns is the winner. Okay. We'll get a point out of the all-time standings. If we both get zero, okay. no points. No points. No points awarded. That's fine. So, flip a coin. All right. Shield or eagle to okay. determine if you want to go first or second. I'm going to go eagle. It is the eagle. I will go second, Pat. Okay. And here's 8-bit ring toss edition. All right, here we go, Pat. Good luck. Game begin. Oh, my. Big money. Oh! Very 20. Good. 20. <laughs> These are actually good. Nice throw. Thank you. See you next week.